Now, Jackson, there's been a lot of controversy as of late about MAGA communism. And uh, so I want you to tell us what is, because no one can really define what it is. And the people who seem to like to talk about it the most won't talk to you directly about, about it. So I want you to tell me what, what is MAGA communism? MAGA communism is an idea that I, I didn't come up with. Uh, Haas of the Infrared Show, who we, we, we went out to dinner in L.A. together. He's a good guy. He I, came remember up with it. I remember Haas. I remember Haas. Yeah, so he came up with it. The idea is that a lot of the left in America right now is not aligned with us on the issues that matter most when it comes to uh, defeating big tech, nationalizing big tech, protecting uh, free speech, abolishing the CIA, the FBI, going against the endless wars, uh, these sorts of things, going against big pharma, big agriculture. They kind of run in line with the average Democratic Party sentiment. And the working class, which not in its entirety, but I would say in large part makes up the MAGA movement, uh, is aligned with communists on this issue or, you know, leftists, whatever. Uh, but there definitely is a strong line that can be drawn between Marxists and, and MAGA on this very issue or on these very issues. And at the end of the day, I think that what we've seen undoubtedly from the Trump administration in their four years is that it was either um, consciously or in some cases unconsciously doing the bidding of the deep state. We saw that countless times throughout the Trump administration. So I see it as the goal of this project of MAGA communism to be able to highlight the contradictions between the oligarchical ruling class and the working class movement itself that is MAGA and trying to uproot the liberalism and globalism and neoconservatism that's finding its way within uh, MAGA party politics. So that's the broad goal. Uh, it's not an effort to uphold fascism or the duopoly, as some of those people may have put it, our detractors. But it's uh, been trending on social media for the past week. It won't stop. And a lot of people are talking about it. A lot of uh, MAGA supporters are actually talking about it, and they think it's a great idea. So that's pretty much it. So this is basically a lefty's outreach to uh, Trump supporters to join on the things, the uh, the issues that your your views align. Is that what exactly. you're saying? But staying true to it and exposing people like Ron DeSantis, who, you know, might be courting a right wing populist following through the politics that he's putting forward as governor of Florida. But at the end of the day, someone like Ron DeSantis does not differ at all from the you know rhino republicans he is a rhino republican when it comes to the most important issues his foreign policy uh and, and his views on the intelligence community so being able to highlight those contradictions now what do you say to the critics well first of all let me bring in craig uh pasta now um what do you what are your feelings about maga communism well, first off, I want to say that I don't think it's disingenuous. I just think it's completely wrong. You know, I, I go to a lot of uh, election integrity events, and right now those are filled with MAGA people out there because they feel they were, you know, uh, done wrong in the last election. So that is why uh, I, I get to speak with a lot of MAGA people. Uh, and it's just diametrically opposed to each other. When you go to these events and you hear a lot of MAGA people, nine times out of ten, their number one enemy is communism. They'll say it all the time. Oh, Marxism, communism, that's the problem. Even more than China, even more than Bill Gates and our good buddy over there, uh, Jeff Bezos or any type of oligarch. This is the thing they fear most. And at the end of the day, they feel that Marxism, and I honestly feel that a lot of communists in the United States, people who call themselves communists, I believe they're mostly cappuccino communists, I call them that. I don't think they really understand what communism is like Jackson does and some of our friends who've probably read about theory and, and angles and all these other people. But they feel that it's a complete opposite of what they're trying to achieve. They are capitalists through and through. They believe in choice. And they believe that Marxism and communism is the exact opposite. So when you are around MAGA people, you'll you'll know right off the bat. You know, I kind of uh, sent a friend a link today saying that I'm going to be on uh, Jimmy Dore with my good friend uh, Jackson Hinkle. And we're going to be talking about MAGA communism. And they were like, what the heck is that? You know, they've never heard about it before. Uh, so, number one, I don't think it exists at all. Number two, uh, even though we are desperate for some type of unity with the working class, 
we need to stay away from labels. You know, you guys say it all the time. You know, when you're building a coalition of working class people, you don't ask who's a communist, who's a Marxist, who's a capitalist, who's a Trump supporter, who's a Democrat, who's a Republican. Labels only separate us. It's when we remove the labels and come together on our common goals and the working class and our economic struggles, then we can bring it together. This, to me, is just something that can be used to weaponize and divide us even more. Um, so even though we are desperate some, for some form of coalition, I just think this whole thing is just definitely non-existent and it is a way of separating us even further. Um, so Jackson, what do you say to that? I think those are some good points, but at the end of the day, I think that the MAGA communism hashtag or trend, whatever, is actually breaking down the labels further. It's like, it's so it's so chaotic. It's so in your face that when people question it and they begin to discuss it, and I've done that today. I was on One America News Network. I never thought in my life I've ever, I've ever be on like a broadcast like that. And I was talking to the host, and we were actually able to break down, you know, what it is that we all agree on. And he was like, "Wow, I I think that we actually agree on a lot of the things that we're talking about here." Uh, and through these conversations and through highlighting the contradictions that don't align between left and a right in America, but between the top and the bottom, uh, we're able to further come together and actually begin to address these issues. Um, I think that you're 100 percent right that we need to focus on the issues. But the idea behind MAGA communism is focusing on the issues at hand, and it's not an effort to divide anybody or anything like that. And the whole idea is to unite Marxists with MAGA, and I think it's working quite well. It's starting a lot of really big conversations, and um, at least in the online community, I've seen a lot of MAGA people coming together with Marxists and saying, we actually agree on more than we disagree on, uh, and maybe people didn't previously see this. So I, I think it's a beautiful thing. So yeah. people uh, conflate, I think, Marxism with the Russia-style communism um, which wasn't really pure communism. It just became authoritarianism. So I think when you hear, when you hear people say things like, uh, oh, they're like, when you hear them say, oh, Trudeau is communist, right? Yes. yes. They don't, they don't mean he's communist. They mean he's an authoritarian because we were told we were brought up my whole life in the United States that communism equaled authoritarianism. And so I think people conflate authoritarianism with communism. And that's why people who call themselves or consider themselves conservative or right wing would, would, would have a, uh, an allergic reaction to the term communism. And I don't think Marxism and communism are the same thing, right? I mean, uh, Marxism wasn't. How do you define communism, Jackson? They're the same thing. They're the same thing. I feel like in America, though, they these terms have been bastardized in different ways so you know socialism means one thing to a lot of people communism might mean one thing to a lot of people but they mean the same thing uh if you actually read the text they mean the same thing but what i think that we need to focus on is how communism translates into uh the material reality of our country uh, we can take things, and I discussed this with the conservative on OAN today, we can take things like the pro-industrial mindset, uh, pro-growth mindset from China and from the Soviet Union, while still recognizing that we have many cultural disagreements and disagreements based upon governance with these two models, take the good things from the communists there, apply it to America while respecting the rich history of labor struggles and progressive history that we have in this country, and fighting for you know more growth, more industrialization, more wealth for all. At the at the end of the day, that's what it is. It's we we want people to have more health, we or wealth. We want to lift the masses from their knees. Yeah, and and I I agree with that, but I do still think that when you do equate this whole MAGA and communism situation, you're actually just kind of separating those that that particular bond can be together because the MAGA people are hardcore capitalists. And I, and I also want to point out that I think that we we can't leave out the fact, Jackson, and I think you'll agree to as well, is that a lot of people who call themselves communists in the United States and most of the MAGA people, they kind of equate the Marxism with a campus Marxism, with, you know, with this kind of like culture wars that was came along way after Marx was gone. 
And that is a very divisive tactic. So therefore, they, they can't get away from that. Uh, I do agree that we do need to have more discussions about what people want, because I don't think the communists in this country really are full blown communists. I believe they are more about a labor movement, a working movement. And that's what they want. And that's what we need to focus on. Anytime we bring this in, this this MAGA and communism, it's just something that's completely diametrically opposed, you know. Uh, capitalists believe in choice. They believe that the Marxism takes away that choice and they don't want to be cornered into that kind of ideology. So how would you, what, 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 so you kind of agree to me, it's just the putting a label on what Christian Smalls did in the Staten Island, right? It's finding common ground with people who of different political persuasions and then uniting around those ideas. But, it, it, you think is it is it the label, Craig, the, called MAGA communism? That's off putting. Would you be if he just called it uh, Workers Unite or something? Absolutely, and that's what we should do. That's what we've been fighting for. I just believe this is going to be something that can be weaponized to further divide us. It's the labels. Labels separate us. Our human needs bring us together, and that's what we need to stay concentrated on. And I also just feel that it's it doesn't exist. For most MAGA people, they're like, what are you talking about? However, I do believe that a discussion needs to be had about the things that we need, and I think that when people do call themselves a communist in the United States, uh, they are more kind of like all about the labor movement and labor rights. That's what it's all about. And that's what we need to concentrate on because if you just talk about labor and you keep the Marxism out of it and you keep the MAGA out of it, that's when we come together. As soon as you put those labels there, it separates us. Yeah. Jackson, why are you separating us? <laughs> With your I think the biggest thing we need to come together on and what MAGA and communists probably align on most is overcoming the deep state and the globalists. And globalism is unique right now. I mean, we're seeing that unfold in Europe. The globalists and the capitalists are fighting against each other. Uh, and we need to overcome the globalists. And I think that what you see them doing with the energy markets, with big agriculture, with big pharma, uh, with big tech, are all things that we have common ground with MAGA on. And I think that rather than avoiding the difficult question of what Marxism and communism is, we should actually, you know, lean into it and unite on those on those pr common principles that we have. Despite different worldviews, we arrive at the same exact location. Um, all right. Well, I don't know that the, 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 the term is a little rough. That's all. It is a rough term. You know that, right? It's oof, it hits you a couple different ways. It's provocative, but that's why it's trending on Twitter right now. Is it trending? Been trending for the past week. Yeah. But some of the comments are very, very negative. They're like, what are you talking about? When, and I'm not saying overall. And, and once again, bringing overall, overall, it's positive. I've seen some. Uh, well, first of all, a lot of uh, if put it on Getter and let's see if you get the same response that you do on Twitter. And we'll see. Most of the MAGA people are hanging out in Getter. They've already left Twitter. So, you know, we'll see. Um, OK, so there it is. There's there's. Uh, we still have so that's our definition of MAGA communism. I still don't know what communism is. They say it's Marxism, but I don't think so. I think Marx was just didn't. I mean, again, I'm not. I've read very little, but um, you haven't read Lenin, Jimmy. Come on. But correct. So you guys probably have read more than me. So it didn't Marx. All he did was really give a critique of capitalism. He didn't really lay out a new economic system. He just kind of critiqued capitalism so people understood what the f capitalism was right am yeah, i wrong as well as as well as how we should view the world through the scientific lens of dialectical materialism and i think that beyond anything else has taught us that if we have these common goals then we should be uniting together on the common goals as a working class rather than fictitious party lines Okay, I just somehow you're going to get me in trouble, Jackson. I don't know how, but somehow you're going to wreck everything. <laughs> I just feel it. But uh, okay, Are you running for president yet? Ah, uh, it's that, so tense. One way I might get you in trouble. Yeah, pressuring you to run for president. I wish you were old enough because I would rather support you than me. But 
Uh, it, they're so vulnerable right now, meaning the establishment, the Republicans and the Democrats for a candidate like me. And people are already getting ready to funnel progressive energy back into the Democratic Party. Like, oh, Nina Turner's going to run for president or Marianne Williamson's going to run inside the Democratic Party. How the fuck did that work out for Bernie Sanders the last two times? It doesn't work out. You become a cuck to the establishment and then you start doing evil all over the place, which is what they're doing. The, the squad and Bernie have been supporting fucking evil since Joe Biden got elected. And before that, when they supported the, uh, the goddamn CARES Act. And uh, nobody even still knows what happened with the CARES Act. And uh, anyway, so. Um, all right. Anything else you'd like to say about MAGA communism before we sign uh, ch change subjects? Oh, I'd like to say that, you know, if you really are serious thinking about running for president, the Libertarian Party is really a party we need to be looking at, Jimmy. You know, I call myself a leftist libertarian and, you know, maybe they have room for you over there, you know? So they're not on board for Medicare for all. That's that's but maybe maybe I'd be the guy who changes their minds on that or something. I don't know. I, I was thinking about running in the Republican primary, right, just because they don't have super delegates. But I'm sure they have ways to screw you too. <laughs> yeah, they, have, they have a control system over there too, as well. Their 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 chosen ones are selected, not elected, as well. How did Trump get through? And that's because that's what all this is about. January sixth, and this is to make sure that Trump can't run again. And the the Republicans are just as afraid of him as the Democrats because they all serve the same oligarchs. So they're just as afraid because Trump would roll all over them again, I think. Virginia Beach, Richmond, Arlington, San Jose, Miami, West Palm Beach. Go to jimmydorkcomedy.com for a link for all the tickets and become a premium member while you're there. <laughs>